Yo, what's going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you guys another video. Thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. For those of you new here, be sure to drop a like up on this video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell notification icon. With today's video, guys, we are going to be helping our boy Sager and his beautiful 2016 GT350. And matter of fact, he's pulling up right now. Take a look at this thing. What we got going on today? Data logging. Yeah. I'm gonna show Sagar and teach him how to data log his car. I think he's going with a Palm Beach Dino Tune on this thing, and uh, you know, crank out a little more horsepower out of it, have a little more fun. And uh, you know, he, he was gonna sell it at one point. What happened? Why didn't you sell this thing? Mustang week happened. Mustang week happened. <laughs> you saw a lot of different models. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me make the most out of this car before I sell it. Enjoy it for a bit. And you know, throw a little E85, make more power, see how it is. Wait probably another year. And who knows, maybe a GT500 might be coming soon. What you're doing today, an E85 tune? Yeah. No kidding. That is so awesome. With the S197s, you can't really run a flex field tune. You just have to either run a straight up E85 tune or a 93 tune. That's one downside to running, you know, 93 on this. It's not a flex tune like this. You can mix them up and everything and it'll take care of all that so I see we have your laptop mm -hmm. we have the SCT device you have all your cords and you downloaded all the programs right yeah I put the tune on here already oh perfect did you upload it to the car yet nice. no all right cool let's do that first he came prepared so I like to see we're gonna plug this up to the OBD2 port and you said you did upload the tune to that right I'm gonna go to program vehicle bang bang Palm Beach Dino confirm All right, we're just gonna let this upload real quick. So you can see it's saving the stock file. Well, you can kind of see it's for some reason not focusing. It's so cool about these cars, man. If you guys wanted to drive on E85, you can. And then if you just want to pump some 93 in real quick, um, it's right on the go. You don't have to go swapping tunes and stuff like I said. S197, again, on the other hand, a little pain in the butt. But actually, speaking about E85, I do have an E85 kit right in that box right there to the right. So. Maybe we'll get that thrown on here very shortly. Are we doing any watts today? Wanted, yeah. Does he want that for a data log? Or is uh, it just gonna be like you're idling and... He said just idling, like rev it up to like, uh, was it 4,000? Yeah, and you gotta hold it and stuff? Yeah, yeah, okay. I just remembered guys, blue two valve is back. If you guys haven't checked out that video, click the link that just popped up in the right hand corner. Pretty good power for a two valve, I must say. 98%, just about done. And. Oh, she's coming to life. Finalizing tune. Mm, what the hell is it doing? Going through another step? Uh, I've never seen this before. For my first time, I have no idea. That's a little strange. Um, I thought it was finished. I don't know what it's, it's, it's on 0%. Wait, are the keys still in here? Yeah. Why did it turn off? I don't know. It says do not turn ignition key off or disconnect device. Mm. That's a little scary. I am not going to lie. Uh, I've never seen it do that before. Should I hit accessory mode? Oh. 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 <laughs> All right, hold on. It might be working. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I got a little scared yeah, there. Scared I've never I'm loaded a tune on an S550, but it's it's the same thing. Yeah, accessory scary. mode, yeah. and then oh, it went from 60, then back to zero. ECU downloading tune. I'm still a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. Why is it? It just downloaded it though. It says the following are directions on data logging. Please do an idle and rev log according to the instructions to start. Just, That's it. Idle, idle and rev. That's super easy. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Hopefully they're pretty quick with it though. Hopefully like we can send it in and then they're like, I right, bet. Let's get yeah. a watt. Yeah. If it goes through this again, Sager, <laughs> we're selling the car. Okay. Or you can trade me for Lucifer. Straight trade right now. GT title in hand. Huh? GT500. What do you mean GT500? Dude, that's the only that's the only thing I'm selling this car for. Oh dang! Really? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and start her up real quick. She's alive. 
We're gonna have to go and connect the laptop and stuff now. I'll do that for you. I'll teach you how to do it. Um, we'll drive around. I got a little spot. It's actually really good for data logging. But um, are you sure you don't? You know you don't want to trade. I just put the tune on. You just put the tune on. <laughs> All right. I'll take the laptop here. And you said he downloaded everything yeah, already? Live oh yeah, perfect, yep. Okay. Yeah, and now, uh, just be underneath there. Here. <sighs> Man, his allergies are killing me. Out of nowhere, literally stepped outside, just getting destroyed. Did they send you a config file in your email? They should have, because you have to upload a config file to the live link. Which one is, is one of these? Uh, yeah, the top one. Yeah, I downloaded it onto here. You did? I, I don't know where it is, though, but I downloaded it. <laughs> All right, we got to find that thing. Um, oh, wait, right here. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's the, that's the tune. Is that oh, the tune? It? Yeah. You sure? Oh, yeah. it is. Okay, uh, where's the other file? I don't think, hold on, let me turn on the hotspot real quick. Thankfully, Palm Beach Dino actually had config file selection on their website. Super easy to find. Now we're going to go and drag it into Live Link. We're going to sit here. The car is at operating temp. Sager just got here, so that's exactly what you want. And we're just going to let a data log for about four minutes idling, and then we'll save that log. Then we'll go to my little spot over here and do the rev idle. And what did you say, hold it at 4,000 RPM? Yeah. Okay, so we just got to let it... Sit, we just gotta let it hang at 4,000 RPM and um, we'll save that file and then hopefully today they'll say give us the green light for you know why yeah. so fingers crossed but let's knock this out real quick we're gonna open up live link yes so when you open this up you want to make sure you click this little com button up here communication button and then you check communication you can see all your device info right there you're gonna click this load config that's exactly what we just downloaded it's on our desktop right here open all right so now this is where it looks for everything this is what they're going to be looking at so this is why you need a config file because they select what they want we can hit start at the top left and you'll see the graphs are going wild perfect so now we're data logging the idle tune and we can sit here and talk about our straight trade for Lucifer in this car for the next two minutes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> as far as the first log, I think we're good to go with this. So after you stop it, Sager, so this is start right here. And stop's going to be right here. So I stopped it clearly. You just want to click the save button okay. and then save all. Okay. And then we'll just title it um, 350 idle on the desktop log yep and we'll save it to desktop yep. Yep. boom perfect all right let's go to this little spot let's get this idle log done i remember when you were first learning manual on this thing yeah having fun with it though Thank you. yeah here's a little cutout i do all my idle logs in you just pull in. Yeah, and let's direct it otherwise. Get the car warmed up first. Start the log idle for 30 seconds. Then hold the RPM 1500. Yeah, this is exactly what we do. So we need to do this one, right? Yeah. We're going to let it record for 30 seconds idling. And then you have to hold it at 1500 RPM for 15, okay. 2500, 3000. And then that's it. And we'll let it idle for 30 seconds. All right, and now climb it to 1500 and hold it. That's too much. I'll tell you when to go to 2500. All right, 2500. Oh God, that's too much. It's a little tricky, isn't it? <laughs> Try to hold it as best as you can. Right, let that sit for a second. All right, now three thousand. I don't know. No, 
another 20 seconds on idle, and then that log's complete. And we just got to send this in. Yep. Can I actually send it to him right now? You saw it in the hotspot? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll save this log. Do you send it to him through that Zendesk bullshit? Yeah, I just send it through the, uh, through the thing they opened up for me. Okay. Here you go. Just submitted the logs. We're not too sure if they'll get back to us yeah. within a reasonable time. It to two to three hours, but yeah, to do the watts good. and stuff. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna have to pretty much just leave it at that. I figured I'd show you guys this car. I know you've seen it once or twice before. Um, I really want one, man. He won't trade me. <laughs> what's what's it gonna take? Blue two valve and Lucifer. GT500. <laughs> He's a nut, man. <laughs> just a GT500. Yeah. Man, you're back yep. with my car. Yep. Yeah, we're yeah. trading. Still thinking about it. All right, sweet. You want me? Let me. You gonna let me in? What's going on, man. Not much. Got your got your uh, new tune. No, or we got a data log more. Yeah, yeah. They said do it on this tune. We're back, guys. Uh, Watt pole. Yep. Nice. We're gonna let this GT350 eat today. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't pushed it yet with the new tune, so today's gonna be the first time I'll be like. Then after this log, they're probably gonna send you the E85 tune, tell you to load that up, and then uh, do all that. But we're back, guys. The next day. It is. It's a Hellcat. Yeah, white body. I mean, does he want the smoke? Damn, where you at, Tyler? He needs that in his life, guys. Don't you agree? Driving log starting now. And then he wants a full watt at the end of this log, right? Yep. Still 93 octane right now. On the 85, it's gonna be a cold another from Oh yeah, it's gonna feel good, man. It's gonna feel good. But let's go ahead and let's get this third gear watt. Yo, I'm sorry if I sounded like a little girl. Passenger seat. <laughs> going around a corner like that with this little Honda Fit in front of me, I'd nearly shat myself. And he snatches forth like we're just gonna run through the damn thing. Jiminy Crickets, man. I saw a guardrail in front of me. I'm like, we're dead. I'm done. This is it. Dude, I can see. You know how, like, I know, I know, but do you understand that, yeah, like, yeah, from a passenger's yeah, perspective, yeah, yeah, yeah. though, it's like... Good. <laughs> he snatched forth and everything. Cause you're coming up on his ass yeah. hot. Well, we captured all the logs we needed, which is good. Felt solid, man, for real. From what I remember. It felt faster than what I like what I'm used to. Yeah. So I can't wait for E85. Oh, dude, it's gonna wake it up for sure. It's gonna feel really good. Yeah. But you know. Track day. Can't wait for that. <laughs> We'll have to get this and the vet out together yeah, and go some sure. and do some cornering. Yeah. Because I don't know if you saw the video where we took Romina's vet out to the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that was wild. It was getting it. Scary. Oh, it, she was scared. I, there was a couple turns where I was pushing it. I was like, eh, okay, it's a little sketch, but it was fun. Let's see what first it feels like, man. All right, ready? Yeah. I feel strong, man. Dude. Oh man, I, I love that sound for a stock exhaust too. That voodoo is just—it's oh, it sounds so good, man. That sounds so freaking good. I'm gonna ask you one last time: Are we trading or not? After today, maybe not. Dude, come <laughs> on! Why you gotta do this to me, man? E85 too. Oh. I can't wait, dude. Chill out. You don't have to rub in my face like that, no. There's our little adventure with Sager's GT350. Thankfully, he's not getting rid of it. Hopefully not. Right? 
All right, good. Plus for a GT500. And yeah, he wants the 2020 GT500. I mean, I don't blame him. I would too. But uh, you're going to miss the manual aspect, though. I can promise you that. Yeah. The GT500 is sick. The DCT is in insane. But the manual 350, there's something about it, bro. That's why I'd sell Blue Cipher for a 350. Yeah. It's the only car I would, really. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this and you want more little videos like this, let me know. Drop a like up on the video. Drop a comment down below. And uh, the car is beautiful, man. I absolutely love it. If, uh, if you were serious about a trade, it'd be really, really hard to consider it. Um, just because I love Lucifer, but I also love this. You know, maybe one day we'll be in a GT350, but as of right now, we're going to hang with Lucifer. We'll catch you tomorrow for an awesome video. Make sure you're here 8 p.m. Eastern time. But until next time, we'll see you later.